What I've learned through the process of manifesting and trying to find my own way and my own rules on how to do things is that you have to feel good in order for roads to open for you. If you're just talking shit about yourself or other people, if you're feeling the lack of what you have, it's really hard for a road to open for you. I'm often using my art for the purpose of healing. And so it's coming from a very spiritual place within me. And there's sacredness to that. And I want people to feel their sacredness. I want people to see themselves or the land as sacred and then and themselves as a reflection of that. Since I was a kid, I've always created. That was a refuge for me. Especially when you see so much destruction happening, how it's impacting your home and your family. I didn't really know what, how to make sense of it except for to create. Oakland has been so nutritious to me as an historical city where black and brown people have lived and contributed for, for many generations now. I just kind of wanted to honor the contributions of black and brown people. I know that I know who I am through my experiences in community and through collective rebellion and collective creative rebellion here. Being able to, to work in community with my people and different projects and, and this project of liberation and this project of healing. When Akinati reached out to me wanting to collaborate to do this piece, I just was like, oh, wow, like I've been chosen. You know, I've seen the work Akinati's done. I've seen the work they've funded. And, and ultimately what inspired me with the poster when I'm thinking about the elimination of racism, world without racism, I'm thinking about intergenerational communities thriving. And so in the poster, in the image, I wanted to put the children first. Becoming a parent has been so powerful for me as an artist from the moment that she was conceived through having her in every step of the way. And she's just inspired me so much. And it's nothing has made me want to be catalyzed into a more healed, like stable, like a better person. Well, these little things are going to come out. Are they dragons? <laughs> And they're flowers. Oh, did you think they were a type of dragon? Yeah, it's white. Oh, I have this white green too. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen you do care. Since Naima's come, so many more doors open for me creatively. I've been a mom now for over six years, but that was when I fully stepped into being an artist full time. 
and to really kind of fully stepping into my destiny. And so being a creator, being a mama, it's the same energy. She gifted me that, this ability to um, know myself and really know how capable I am. I know that her spirit came from the ancestral realm. I know that she's been here before. It's seeing her as a, a gift and a messenger from the ancestors that return to help me get more on my path.